Family, what's good? Rebels, what's up? This is the intro to the video that we about to present. I wish I had me a hundred dollars and twenty-five cent. Y'all know I can't rap and I do it anyway, but let's get this next video underway. You heard me. Terrible intro, but you know what? We're gonna run with it. Video up, family. Let's get it. Family, what's good? Rebels, what's up? It's your boy CJ McGill back with another video, guys. If you haven't done so already, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, guys, at MacTheRebel. That's M A C T H E Rebel for Twitter. Just put an underscore on the end of that bad boy. So, family, today, man, look, we got a nice little video in store for you guys. I'm not even going to hold you. I, I, I got some really good news. All right, I'm really, really excited for <laughs> for some of you guys who don't know. Um, my top five Grail sneakers, and for those of you who are new to the channel, make sure you one guys like, comment, and subscribe to everything that you see. But for those of you who are new to the sneaker world, who don't know necessarily know what a Grail is per se, a Grail in terms of the sneaker community is a shoe that an individual has long wanted, has long sought after, and has not been able to get it. Now, for me personally, my Grail is the Air Jordan Retro 4 Lightning. That is in my top five Grail list. It is on my Grail Mount Rushmore, all that, whatever however you want to word it, guys. We have an official release date of August 7th, 2021. When I tell you guys, I'm not going to take up too much of the video talking about this. I will camp for one week, a whole week, if I have to. Now, hopefully I don't have to. Hopefully I can hit on a raffle or just, you know, go online and, and cop and, you know, do what I need to do. If not, of course, then, you know, it is what it is. It is what it's going to be. But that is my grail shoe. Can't wait for it to come out next year. If you guys haven't been able to, make sure you check out my other video where I talk about my plea to Jordan brand, where I discuss specifically four things about next year that I would love to see from Jordan brand themselves. So if you haven't done so guys, make sure you check that video out. Icon should be at the top of the screen, all right? I love the Jordan 4. It is my all-time favorite silhouette. And so I, I find it necessary to talk about one of my most recent pickups for myself and so of course we're talking about jordan fours you guys see those jordan green glow fours in the back right there um, also looking for the toro bravo jordan fours too so size 11 and a half or a 12 if you guys know anybody you know sell them at a good price tell them to holler at your boy my phone number is in the description just shoot me a text all right but yeah family to celebrate the awesome news of the official date of the air jordan retro 4 lightning now let me be clear about this too we have been rumored to have the jordan 4 lightning in the past we have been rumored to have it for the last 14 to 15 years we still haven't got it but this is the first time if i can remember where we have gotten actual confirmation with regards to a release date for the lightning force so that's why i'm really excited about it but anyways guys we're going to be looking a little bit more at a particular jordan 4 that i was able to pick up so with that being said family we are going to be talking a little bit about the air jordan retro 4 psg paris saint germain let's get it family now that we're back man you guys already know what we're talking about we're talking about the air jordan retro 4 psg also known as the air jordan retro 4 paris saint germain this is a collaboration between jordan and the jordan brand sponsored soccer team i'm not sure if jordan brand owns it um, but i do know that we have seen numerous paris saint germain collaborations in recent memory all right so paris saint germain jordan 4 is the most latest one this is the one we're going to talk about today so First thing you're gonna notice, guys, really clean tumble leather on the toe box. Now, me personally, I'm really loving the whole, I'm not gonna say newly, newly remastered 
uh, shoes, but Jordan brand, you guys are doing a good job stepping it up on the materials of the shoes. Can't lie to you. But anyways, guys, tumble leather on that Jordan 4 right there. Super, super clean shoe, guys. There is a really clean gray suede right here. Now, it does appear at first to be like a new buck material, but it is definitely a gray suede. Super clean shoe. Really, really dope. On the back, guys, you definitely have that Paris Saint Germain logo PSG with Jordan in the middle. Um, let's see, take it to the inside. Nothing too crazy to see there. It does say Air Jordan on that interior tongue tab. And you also have, it also on the inside says ICCS Paris. Um, not exactly sure what that means, but something in French. <laughs> All right. Nothing too crazy to see on the sole. It's traditional Jordan 4 uh, bottom sole right here. You got that white and Bordeaux black, white, black, and Bordeaux color blocking, of course, to match the rest of the shoe. The upper is just really clean all throughout, guys. Color palleting is really done well on this. And of course, you have that Jordan flight on the tongue. Go ahead and show you guys the pair also. So the pair is really dope in itself. Um, you know, just when, I'm just thinking about all the outfits I could wear with this, you know? Of course, you can go all black with it and set it off. Hold on, thumbnail time, let's see. There it is, thumbnail, boom, with the green gloves in the back. But anyways, guys, really, really dope shoe. Another detail that you wanna look at are those, um, the, uh, the laces right there. They have gold tips on the end of them. Um, yeah, that's mainly it, guys. Just a really clean shoe. You got those wing tips over there that are also purple as well. Um, or, excuse me, Bordeaux. Um, but yeah, really, really dope shoe. Um, I can't say enough about this Jordan 4. The only thing I'm expecting next year of those Lightning 4s is that the materials are just as good as that 06 pair that we saw. You can darken that blue gray a little bit, make it maybe a little bit more blue than gray. I'm cool with that. I think that'd be really dope. But um, yeah, Jordan Brand, great job. Um, all right, so one last thing, guys, about the Paris Saint Germains is that they do come in a purple Bordeaux box. Now, the Paris Saint Germain logo on the top is engraved, so it's not like screen printed on. It's nice and engraved on there. You got your Jordan logos all throughout the side of the box. Again, a couple more, and yeah, and then you also have your, you know, your coating and everything on there too. The inside of the box is actually pretty dope, whereas you have like that grass field for representing the soccer team, of course. And of course you have that quality control. No unauthorized over here. No, 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 no fakes on my feet ever, no. But anyways, guys. But yeah, really dope interior of the box. Really, really clean. Um, the paper actually has not only the Jumpman logo, but it also has the PSG logo all throughout it as well. Not sure if you guys can see that, but it's actually pretty cool too, okay? But yeah, family, that's mainly it. Um, in the comments, guys, definitely tell me what you guys think about the Paris Saint-Germain Forest. Um, if you were able to get your hands on these when they dropped a few weeks ago, let me know. Um, this pair, of course, personal pair for your boy, so can't wait to rock them whenever I do decide to. Um, also, let me know what shoe you guys are most anticipating from Jordan brand next year. Outside of the Lightning Force being confirmed for August of next year, we have Carmine Sixes for February of next year. We have Toro, uh, not Toro, hmm, I wish we had Toro Bravo Force. We have Raging Bull Fives, uh, the, the red suede pair of the Raging Bull pack coming out in April. We have the white cement fours that are supposed to come out now. They just confirmed the cool gray threes and we're supposed to be getting cool gray 11s holiday time next year as well. So family, let me go ahead and tell you something. I feel like there's already like 20 to 25 pairs of shoes just that I'm getting just for myself. I, I've already done the, uh, checked out all the confirmation dates just from Jordan brand alone. There's 21 pairs of shoes. I, I know y'all are like, whoa, bro, you going a little overboard, but you know, gotta build my collection back up. If you guys didn't also check out the very first video I've ever posted on my YouTube channel. Matter of fact, I'll go ahead and link that as well. So make sure you guys check that out. There's a reason why 
I'm building my collection up at the pace that I'm building it at. But anyways, family, make sure, like I said, make sure you comment down below. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, man. It really helps your boy out. It really helps the channel grow so I can keep delivering you guys some really dope content. Make sure you comment, guys, and let me know what you think about next year with regards to the shoes that are coming out. And also, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MacTheRebel. That's M-A-C-T-H-E Rebel. For Twitter, put an underscore at the end of that thing. So, family, with that being said, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm pretty hungry. Um, checking out with another video. I know I just got this, uh, this really dope, uh oven deliver it to me so like i said I, I just don't you never know what you're going to see in the next video but i'm just really hungry and i just got this oven delivered and it's really dope and that supposedly you can cook a chicken no you can cook a turkey a duck and a chicken all in this oven but anyways family you never know what you'll see on the channel but it's your boy cj mcgill checking out with another video and i'll see you in the next one and we out rebels peace